We are rabid Americans, so we believe that our industry should remain in our country. We love our Harleys. We love the whole spirit of the whole thing. It would break our hearts to have to condescend to an inferior motorcycle. If they were manufactured in a foreign country, I would not buy them. This is Sturgis. It's a motorcycle rally that attracts half a million bikers to South Dakota every year. It's like a pilgrimage of misfit, blue-collar, evangelical biker for Christ, and veterans. And while it's not an exclusive Harley-Davidson rally, their presence is overwhelming. Harley-Davidson has attitude. It's the sound, the feel. The rumble and the shake. It's in my blood. If I have to explain, you wouldn't understand. It's American-made. Or was. And that's what makes this year a bit more political than usual. Harley Davidson, please build those beautiful motorcycles in the USA, please, okay? Don't get cute with us. Don't get cute. After Trump announced tariffs on steel and aluminum, the EU responded with tariffs of its own, targeting American motorcycles, and Harley said it would have to move more of its production overseas. That didn't sit well with some Harley owners. This is my last Harley Davidson. I'm gonna, I'll go to an Indian next time or unless they change their mind and wise up. We know that there are parts on here that doesn't come from America because America don't make them all, but that's not moving the whole factory over. We've been loyal to them and we just want loyalty back. This is the Fab Four, Jawbone, Bent, Scrapper, and Stinger. They founded the Dirty Old Bastard Society five years ago and they own Stinger Saloon in downtown Sturgis. To them, this recent move by Harley crosses a line. The reason why people move to foreign countries is because they're greedy bastards. Now, I'm not saying that Harley's a greedy bastard, but usually when people leave this country it's because they want to make more profit. Okay, They don't want to pay the common man a fair wage. It's not that Harley hasn't moved jobs abroad before. They have factories in India, Brazil, Australia, and Thailand. But Trump has put the company at the center of the political state. Made in America. At his State of the Union, Trump said Harley was a victim of unfair trade practices abroad. They weren't even asking for a change, but I am. And those politics have trickled down to Sturgis. We want Harley-Davidson to survive this storm, but the person they've got steering this ship is just way out of touch. Chris Cox is the founder of Bikers for Trump. He takes aim not at the brand, but at the company's CEO, Matt Levitich, for moving things abroad. They've been planning this for a long time, and for him to suggest that it was because of Donald Trump and the, and, and the tariffs is absurd. But some people feel that this is what Harley has to do to survive, as long as the bikes they buy remain American-made. Well, Harley owners are feeling betrayed because it's USA, Harley. But if I owned Harley, I'd do the same thing. If they're going to go abroad to save money, hopefully they're only going to do that for the motorcycles that they're going to sell abroad. Hopefully us in America are going to be able to buy what's made in America. And you know, but I support them. I love their motorcycles. I love their brand. Couldn't, I couldn't let them down. I, there's no way. <laughs> 